Good morning, UAV operators O and K. How are you doing these days? Hi, we are okay, despite of the challenging situation as a nation. And uh, we are okay as a family. Both, are, both parents are in the squad room and the children, we need to check. But uh, everything is okay as of now. What was your day job before the war began? We came back from a relocation in, as uh, the head of Malad division in, uh, for the UEV market. And after the 7th of October, after the war started, Actually, I'm a reserve as a mission commander, so I'm trying to manage between the market and uh, the fact that we are in a war since uh, that day. And I'm a yoga instructor, something I picked up uh, when we were back here, trying to do the same here. What is it like to operate UAVs from both customer and operational perspectives? From the customer perspective, actually, I supported the customer in the last four years. That was an amazing uh, opportunity for me. Since this war has started, I understand the requirements and I can give it uh, to the engineering department, to the operational department, what is required in this war, and to make the uh, squadron more operational, even uh, more than what she is now. And after that, that improvement will go to the rest of the customer all over the world. Tell us about your life since October 7th attack on Israel. So I'm trying to manage because the customer is still very important for us. And so I also served for 24 years in the army. And so I found myself at home with the kids, uh, trying to see uh, how we can adjust to the new situations. And we are very grateful to have this opportunity. How does it feel to see the war from up above in the sky? First of all, the UVs are 24-7 uh, above Gaza and uh, fighting shoulder to shoulder with the soldier on the ground. But I think that the fact that we are there to support our uh, soldiers that uh, are fighting, keeping our soldier not to get hurt, injured, and worse than that. See the difference, especially our uh, UAVs, the LNTP, with our cameras and our payloads. We can see exactly if it's a child or a woman, and we can make the difference and to avoid that people that are not part of conflict will not get hurt. So this is, I think, what is make difference between IAI, the Israeli Air Force, of course, to our enemies. Thank you very, very much for joining us today. We wish you the best of luck in your next missions, and may you come back home safe and sound.